Ew. Ew. Why does my hair look... Ew. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, but I just bought these new shoes. And I literally am obsessed with these. Anyway, let's go downstairs. God, I look ugly as fuck. <coughs> I started the vlog. I'm vlogging today. I missed the Vlogmas memo this year. And I'm sorry about that. Like, it, it hurt me to see everybody doing Vlogmas and for me to just be, like, lacking in that department. But Vlogmas is just not my thing. <laughs> I've given up trying to talk over the coffee grinder, so I feel like that shows maturity and growth in me. I got a drum set, and the amount of serotonin that playing the drums releases for me is disgusting. My mental health has improved tremendously since getting this drum set. How sad can I really be if I, like getting a drum set fixes my problems? But then again, it's not fair to invalidate my own feelings. So look at this sweet little baby angel. So I'm vlogging today. I'm really excited because I don't know. I don't really know why. Today, I wanna make hummus. I'm kind of nervous about it because I just feel like I have hummus in the fridge that like I really like. And am I just gonna waste like an hour making hummus for me to hate it? I don't know. Um, another thing, my friend Olivia is going on a date. So I'm gonna help her get ready for her date and we're gonna help we're gonna help her get ready for her date. I need to go to the mailbox, but unfortunately we will be pushing that off until tomorrow because I really don't want to do it. Um, and I'd rather play my new drum set that my dad just built for me and ignore all other responsibilities. I don't want to exercise at all. Like, I, it's the last thing I want to do, to be completely honest, but I know that I need to do it because I know that I'll feel good if I do it. Um, so that's how I'm gonna start out my day today. I think I'm gonna go for a little jog around town. Oh my God, it sounds terrible. Mm. My period's coming and so I, I popped out a little zit today. Whenever I'm PMSing, I don't want to go for a fucking run. This is what I'm gonna start doing every time I'm in like mental pain where I'm like, God, like, I don't know what to do about this or that. Guess what I'm gonna start doing? This. My neighbors are gonna hate me. This is really the last thing I wanna do. Also, my outfit is awful. Camo and red. Make it make sense. Let's get it over with. Okay, see you after my run. I promise I don't actually run like that, so please don't think that that's real. I'm done. Ew. Ugh. Oh. Now it's time for me to do an ab workout that I find on YouTube that probably doesn't do anything. I hate running because I hate, I just don't like anything about it, to be honest, but afterwards I do feel good. Like I feel very good right now. Um, I got a little sweat in, as you can see, a little sweat. Hey. You know what? I don't want you to have to watch this. It's really not cute. Along with my apparent drum obsession, I'm trying to do more things with my life. One thing that I've been thinking about, I want to be able to do the splits again. I just stretched for about 20 minutes. This is where I'm at. Ow! I mean, it's not awful. Oh my God, I'm like naked on camera. I hate being naked on camera. I feel so vulnerable. Just thought that I would share my splits progress. I also bought a sewing machine recently. I'm really trying to like accomplish something. The reason why I want to be able to be flexible again is because I want to be able to do, like when I was a cheerleader, I literally was like, heel straight. Wait, that's actually kind of good. See, that's awful. I used to be able to put my legs straight behind my head, like all the way, like, Ow. We'll see if it ever happens. Shower time. I know, every time I show it, it's a big shocker. But here's the question of the day. Am I going to wash my hair? This is a question I ask myself daily. Can I go another day without washing it? Like I, I shower, it's not like I don't shower. Also, I think I have ringworm. Do you guys wanna diagnose this rash? Oh, it's not that bad. We could definitely go a little longer. Part of me thinks I need to wash it. You know what? We're not washing it. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll see you after the shower. I need to pop this zit. It's pissing me off. It's time to do skincare routine now. Let me put on my robe. Skincare routine time, which brings us to our sponsor of today's video, Bad Habit Skincare. Crazy news. I found out about Bad Habit months before 
Bad Habit was even for sale. They sent it to me. They were like, what do you think of our products? I was like, I'm in love with it. Can I have more than just a sample? They were like, well, you have to wait. I was like, oh my God, can I be involved in your brand? And before Bad Habit even came out, I started working with them and I am Bad Habit's global brand ambassador and creative director. And I'm obsessed with their skincare, which is good because I am those two things. So it would be bad if I wasn't obsessed with them. Their tagline is you don't have to be good all the time to have good skin all the time, which is so honest and real. When they told me that that was their tagline, I was like, done. Like, I'm in. It's clean, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. We have the Matcha and Mint Daily Cleanser, which washes away dirt and makeup without drying out your skin, thanks to aloe vera. I love this. We have the Daily Dose Multivitamin Moisturizer, which instantly hydrates and brightens your face because of niacinamide. It also is just packed with vitamins. I love this. Next, we have the Alms. Acai Nightly Cleansing Balm. This melts away your makeup and takes your makeup off smoothly. Next we have the Power Sleep Melatonin and Glycolic, Glycolic Night Cream. Sorry, I'm talking really fast because I'm excited. This hydrates and retexturizes your skin while you sleep. Next we have possibly my favorite product, the Dude Hemp Nourishing Facial Oil. I'm obsessed with this. It makes your face feel so moisturized and smooth and bright. It's like the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. I put it on my face probably too many times per day. Next we have the Chill Out Hydrating Adaptogen Mist. Mist, misc. Next we have the Chill Out Adaptogen Hydrating Mix. Next we have the Chill Out Hydrating Adaptogen Mist. Thank you, I don't know what happened. This is hyaluronic acid in it to give you a nice hydrating feel. Goes well over and under makeup, it's great. Next we have the Palm Reader Adaptogen Nourishing Hand Cream. This keeps your hands smooth and not greasy. We have the Silent Mode Hydrating Hyaluronic Mask, which soothes tired skin and makes you look smooth like a little baby. Next we have the 10 minute green juice charcoal detox mask. This is basically a juice cleanse for your face. It absorbs all of the daily skin pollutants and makes your skin look glowy and beautiful and fresh. Lastly, we have the Total Reboot AHA, BHA enzyme peel. AHA, BHA and PHA just exfoliate your face so that you have that fresh look. All of the products are meant to chill you out and make you feel good because life is stressful. Buy online and in store at Ulta on December 27th or after that, or at morphe slash morphe.com on December 29th. Follow at Bad Habit Beauty and me at Emma Chamberlain and share what you think of the products and share you using them. Thank you Bad Habit for sponsoring this and letting me be your global brand, brand ambassador. Why can I not talk? As well as your creative director, I truly am in love with the brand. Back to the video. This is killing my vibe though. I feel like I just like look whack. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, do you ever just feel like you wake up and look like shit? Like, that's how I felt today. I kind of want to make myself look really cute. Like, what if I did pigtails or something? Like, I want to put on a cute outfit and I want somebody to see me at the store and be like, oh my God, she's so cute. Nobody would say that to me right now. Unless I fix what's going on. These hairs have been getting in the way of my happiness a lot recently. Every time I do this hairstyle, I feel like really confident. Like, I feel like this hairstyle really like brings me out of my shell and makes me feel like a cartoon character in like a good way. It looks minorly stupid, but I, I think I think it'll do. I mean, whatever, like I'm wearing a mask all day, like nobody's gonna see me. I'm just in the mood for a serve. We're making hummus today, so I need to go to Target and I need to go to Target, that's pretty much it. Do I look like a seven year old though? I did just hairspray it. And for what, I don't know. Is that even gonna do anything? Oh my God, it looks so bad in the back. <gasps> no! Wait, that's not okay. Ugh, it's not great, but it's also not that bad. Okay, let's do makeup and see if we can turn this around. It's supposed to be like hot girl winter and I'm supposed to be like, I don't know, like just feeling confident and shit, but you know. Let's start the makeup. I have phases where sometimes I'm like, I feel better and more confident without makeup. And then sometimes I have phases where I'm like, I like wearing makeup and that's when I feel best. I can't tell where I'm at right now. I think I'm like in the mood for makeup. I haven't cleaned my makeup brushes in literally three years. And I am concerned about the effects that that could be having on my skin. We have to cover this zit today. It's gonna be our challenge of the day. I look like an alien. I always just go through different lip plumpers. This one I think makes me look like I'm having an allergic reaction, which honestly is kind of a fun challenge. I got Invisalign, fuck, I did not mean to put that right there. Um, I got Invisalign a few months ago and I never wear it. So my teeth are crooked, again. I'm not very smart. And I don't think I thought about the fact that like, you know, you have to wear it every day. And if you like, you wait one day, then it's gonna like fuck up the whole thing. And so I just kind of fucked up the whole thing. Time to powder the face up. This is not a powder brush, but we're using it as one. My daily makeup routine has not changed in so long that I will see you after.
Update, I'm doing something weird. I'm taking purple, I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of looks pretty though. Kind of also looks awful. Purple eyeshadow is on. Should I try to do like eyeliner? Emma, don't do that. I know. I only have one color of blush that I know of. I literally have this and that's it. And I don't think that, ma well, it can match. It matches. If I don't have at least one person come up to me at the grocery store and be like, wow, queen. I'm gonna be pretty pissed. I need to add like an eyeliner. Dark purple and brown. This could go many ways. I don't know. Oh my God. What have I done? Listen, I've done better and worse things. I think we just act like it's good. Like I'm almost nervous to go in public. Like this. Ah, oh, I'm, do you know what? We're done. We're done with the eyes. Highlighter. I've literally been using the same highlighter for years. What do I need now? Should I draw like a little star or something to cover my pimple? I see people do that on TikTok. I'm not gonna do it because I think it would just make things worse. Cute idea though. Sorry, focus is needed. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know. Do I even like this color? Stop calling me. I'm having a mental breakdown. What went wrong? I'm just gonna distract myself by going to the store and making hummus. That's the only thing I can think of doing. Fit check. Do I even like it? Like, I don't even know if I like it. I don't know, there's something about the pants. But you know what? I have a cooking project today. That's number one priority. I also have to get Olivia ready for her date later. Like, these are the priorities, not my outfit. I mean, it's kind of cool. These pants just suck. No, this is cool. This is why I have issues. One minute I'm like, let's just get in the car. All right. <clears throat> Fuck the glasses. So I did a little bit of hummus research and it turns out that I don't need a food processor, I can use my blender. And because of that, I will be not going to Target, which is honestly kind of a relief. It's really hard for me not to want to make a cheese board for no reason, but I'm r I am really have nobody to see. I think I want to go to Trader Joe's. I don't shop at Trader Joe's frequently, but it's fun because every time I go, I know that they're gonna have a new array of fun little things to try. I've also been seeing this thing on TikTok talking about how the cashiers that work at Trader Joe's are like trained to flirt with you. Is this true? Although I've never been flirted with by a Trader Joe's employee, so that kind of hurts my feelings. Maybe it's because I look 11. That very well could be it. I'm back and I bought snacks. So I got everything I needed to make my hummus, but I also bought two different fun flavors of nuts. Cocoa chili and caramel coffee cashews. The caramel coffee cashews are coming up first. They did a good job. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah, they're sweet, but not too sweet. The coffee flavor is so good. I'm like obsessed. Those are really good. You know what I mentioned earlier that um, like Trader Joe's employees are supposed to flirt with you. My Trader Joe's employee today was actually like the complete opposite. I feel like he actually hated me. Stop. Y'all, I just found the best nuts at Trader Joe's. Like, wow. Guys, those were so delicious. Like genuinely so delicious. And then we go home and I make my, I make my hummus and it's just like, Life is good. Let's do this. Step one, blender. You're supposed to use the juice, the bean juice. Where are my measuring cups? Do I even have measuring cups? This could be going south really quick. I might not even have measuring cups. Oh. Oh my God, wait, I could use a mason jar. Hold on. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna wing it. I actually don't even know. Oh wait, is this the wrong? Oh my God. Is my fucking can opener broken? No, I'm just broken. Oh God, ew. I don't know how to feel it without this. Is this a 30 ounce can? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so I have to half the recipe. Okay, never mind. We solved the problem. I honestly probably had all the ingredients for this and didn't need to go to the store, but I just wanted to have a little serve. Okay, now we're gonna add the bean juice, which is, again, very gross to me, but I'm just trying to go with the flow here. Half cup of tahini. Mm, it's, why does it smell like peanut butter? Should I try a little bit of it by itself? I wouldn't recommend eating that by itself. It says a half cup of tahini. I I feel like I could eyeball it. Maybe a little bit more. Um, a fourth cup of olive oil. I think this is gonna make a lot more than I can eat. So 
two lemons. Honestly, this is kind of therapeutic. I've been watching a lot of cooking shows recently because it just is like the only thing that makes me feel relaxed. I've learned a few tips and tricks along the way. One is to roll your lemons because it makes them, it makes it like more juicy. Okay, do I have a lemon squeezer? Of course I don't. Would have been way too good to be true if I did. You know what I do have though is this. Wait, what? Strainer! See, look how handy that is. Oh fuck. Ow! Almost ready to blend it! I need to take my makeup off. I'm like, ret I'm retiring for the day. It's 2.45, I'm like, this is it. I need to do two garlic cloves, but my question is, is this a clove of garlic? Or is it the little cloves inside? Oh my God, my hands are gonna smell like garlic! Okay, clove number... It smells good, actually. Okay, two cloves of garlic. Hopefully a clove is... Is this a whole clove? Ah! Sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> That was a genuine scream too. Like I was genuinely frightened about that. I'm too, oh, too much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You're kidding me. Oh my God, it's hummus. I'm trying it, I'm trying it. Not as good as I expected. What could I add to make it better? Let's improvise. It needs more lemon juice for sure. That's a lot. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. I also feel like it needs a lot more salt. That might be too much. That's a lot. I feel like this is like the easiest thing that you could possibly make and the fact that I just may have messed it up is unbelievable to me. There's something wrong with it. It's like it needs acid. Maybe if I serve it up. How did I fuck it up? Like. It has no ingredients. I don't see how I could have messed it up. Take a little bit of olive oil and do a little boo. I mean, it looks nice. Paprika. Oh my God, that was way... Today's a bad day. There's like for sure something wrong with it, but like I can't stop eating it. Let me know what I did wrong, if you know, down below because it's not like the worst thing I've ever eaten, but also why do I hate it? How does this not taste normal? Did I get the wrong type of tahini? I'm still gonna eat it, because I worked hard on it, but there's something wrong with it. The makeup look only lasted, what, two hours? But I'm okay with that. It got its moment, it got its time, and now it's time to take it off. I'm getting my friend Olivia ready for her date later. Don't worry, they both got COVID tested and they're only seeing each other. I know those are the things we have to think about now. I'm really excited. I'm excited because I feel like all of my friends go on dates, like first dates. I've never been on a first date. I've never been like, hey, let's go to dinner. I've only, I've gone on dates in relationships, but I've never like gone on a first date. So I always think it's fun to like help my friends out when they're gonna go on a date and I kind of get to like, experience it through them. But honestly, first dates sound like my worst nightmare. I really, I'm actually kind of glad that every time I've ever met a guy, it's never been uh, uh, like in a date format. Cause that just sounds awful. I'm kind of grateful that I've never experienced that. But either way, I'm probably going to take a nap until then. So bye. Um, a few updates. Okay. So number one, why am I chewing gum? You may ask. Oh my God. This zit is really Killing my vibe. The shitty hummus that I made gave me extremely awful garlic breath. I've brushed my teeth three times, drank lemon juice, cause I read online that that's a cure for it. And now I'm chewing gum. Number two, I did arrive at Olivia's house and she is in the shower, I believe, and can't let me in. Oh my God, is that Olivia? Oh my God. You did not just come out here. <laughs> come inside, why don't you don't? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I, this that was like, almost like it was planned like David Dobrik. That was amazing. It was not planned. I'm here to say that. Okay, great. See ya. I'm naked. Let's go. A lot's going on. Number one, tell me what you're doing. Uh, I'm putting lotion on because my legs are dry. Okay. And it smells like cat shit and I hope it doesn't stay on me. I can guarantee you that I've never had a man complain about cat shit smell on me and that should have happened by now. <laughs> so like, I feel like you're good. Also, she got out the nail polish. Check this out. Thank you, Dixie and Charlie. We also have another person going on a date. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody's going on a fucking date! I'm nervous. <laughs> One to ten. Uh, uh, about like happy or sad? Nervous. Nervous, ten. Wait, why would you be sad? Because uh, <laughs> I'm, ner I'm, I'm nervous. Uh, how are you feeling about your date? 
10 out of 10. Borrowing underwear. Wait, I don't even wear underwear. You don't? Oh, am I still filming? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're picking out Olivia's outfit. Olivia, what vibe are you going for tonight? I don't know. Also, wait, look at my bag. I feel like jeans for sure. Okay. okay like, wait. should we do like, or we have crazy pants? Uh uh. No crazy pants, jeans. We're going casual, guys. I think jeans for the first date. Wait, I kind of love this wash. I feel like this is just like a perfect. That's like my favorite jean. Okay, let's wear these. So we're okay. wearing some Levi's. What I feel like big sweater vibe because it's like. Big sweaters. Okay. I bought mouthwash for this. Wait, I might need that. Okay, wait, I kind of want you to tuck this into your jeans and then put a jacket over it. I, you I don't hate even, this? I've, ever, I've never worn it. Yeah, but I like love okay, it. Okay, yeah, we can try it. Cause I really want this tucked in with a jacket on top. She's gonna try it on and we'll see if Emma did a good job. Styled by Emma, Styled upgraded. By Emma. Date edition, check. Oh, but look how cute this is. On a date? Yeah, I know, you don't wanna be like, you don't wanna be like, oh, I read. Bad. <laughs> bad. Bad. You want to be like, oh, I'm I'm the baddest chick you've ever met. Check. Wait, I love this. Yes. Wait, I really love it. I was right. It's not too studious? No. With an oversized jacket. Let's hit the jackets. All right. Wait. I fuck with that. Double collars, not too much. I like it. Wait, check this, guys. Would you date me? So fast. Me and Olivia both look very young. And very... So we have to dress a little bit more mature in order for... Men to find us appealing. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're making progress. Olivia, how do you feel? I feel crap. Okay, great. More on it later. What's the next step? Hair. We also switched the shirt. Oh yeah, we did. So she's wearing a brown sweater now. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. She's what? a little bit nervous. Why are you a little bit nervous? I'm a nervous nanny. I don't do this anymore. I've not socialized in a long time. <laughs> I it's know. A, it's the turning of a new era. If you uh, really think about it, going on a date right now is so awful because it's like we lost all of our social skills and you need to have peak social skills to go on a fucking first date. Is that enough? I feel uh, like my hair's greasy. Your hair doesn't look greasy to me at all. It oh. just looks like you have natural beach. It looks like you went to the beach and you're... you're carefree and you love to have fun and your free spirit. That's what it looks like to me. My little baby's growing up. Half up, half down. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. okay. That's, That's it. Half down. All right, That's all right, it. all right, all right, all right. Did we change, did we change the outfit for the, the 15th time? Outfit. Yes. yes. Want to see it, everybody? <laughs> she come to the gun show, <laughs> baby. Uh, I feel like you're, I, honestly, I wish I could come with you. I wish you could too. How could I like come to this? I can give you the door code and his apartment number and you can sit outside and listen. Wait, I fuck with that. Olivia, we're at the location. Uh, I'm nervous, <laughs> dude. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous, yeah. Tune in to see if I'm alive. Catfish She will No, I mean, she'll be alive because you best believe I'm tracking her ass on Find My Friends. Like, she will be safe. But um, you can do this, sister. Come on. Go go kill it. Okay. Go get a little kissy-wissy. Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. High five. I love you so much. You can totally do this. I love you more. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Emma. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. Why did I decide to film at 7 in the morning? It's literally 7 in the morning, and I'm wearing my retainer, and, like, we're just a mess. I forgot to say goodbye to you guys. Olivia went on her date. She is safe and sound. I don't know how it went yet. Hopefully, she had an amazing time. She looked beautiful and amazing, so I think she probably had a great time. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. Have an amazing day. Follow your dreams. Be yourself. Here's your forehead kiss. I have morning breath, but you can handle it. I love you. Bye. Do I have any boogers? Comment down below if you see any boogers. Bye.